Alright guys, so in front of you there are two options, the first one is unlimited storage and the second one is limited storage. Now obviously we're going to choose unlimited storage because that's the whole purpose of the video and after that just leave that toggle off, tap on confirm and you will see all your media, photos, videos, whatever, they're all going to be transferred into this app and you will have unlimited storage. If you want to know how I made this, make sure to stick till the end, it's very easy. Hi everyone, so I hope all of you guys are safe and sound. Like I mentioned, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a way where you could get unlimited storage on iOS devices. Now this works for iPhones, iPod Touch, and even iPads, and even also Android devices. I have a video for that in the description, so just visit the link or just watch till the end. You'll be probably doing the same steps on Android as well. So the first step is going to the App Store and searching for an application called Google Photos. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to install this app and I'm going to walk you through it. So just make sure to stick till the end. So just go to the App Store and search for Google Photos. I'm going to show you here on my iPhone as well. Uh, the link for this app is going to be in the description. You can visit it from there or you can just search for Google Photos here in the App Store and it should be the first one on the list. Now I'm going to get a a comment from someone saying well what use is this app gonna give us well just make sure to stick till the end you'll understand what it is so as you can see the application is shown in front of you just tap on get or tap on download like I said the link is in the description wait for the application to be downloaded and I'll walk you through all the steps that you need to do for you to get unlimited storage it's as easy as that there's nothing complex to it there's no secret there's no hack or whatever so just type in your password download the application and I'll show you what to do so if you guys are till now enjoying the video, it will be great if you guys hit it with a like button and also it will not harm you if you subscribe to the channel since content like this will be mostly published in the time period that's coming soon. So the app is downloaded, all you need to do is just open it and I'll show you what to do. Just make sure to follow my steps and follow the options that I choose, you'll be good to go. So just press on OK when, you, when it shows you this prompt and press on allow again it's going to show you a prompt for a notification press on allow so here is very important so if you have an email signed into your phone you can use that but i prefer if you create a new email address or a new account for this app to work since it's going to have all your photos and you don't want it to be deleted or uh, let's see let's say if you forget the password so just make sure to create a new account and it will take you to a tab where it says create an account make sure to choose for myself and after that, just enter your first and last name. Make sure to remember all this information very accurately because you don't want to forget or delete this account by mistake. So just type in your usernames or your first and last names and then press on next. And after that, you need to type a phone number. Now, sometimes you might have an option to skip this, but I prefer not to because in case you forget your password, you will be able to recover it using this phone number. So I just typed in a phone number and then I pressed on next. It should send a message to the phone number you, that you just typed. Just wait for the SMS message to be received and then type in the code that you see in the text message. So as you can see, I'm just typing it in front of you. After that, all you need to do is press on next and it should take you to a tab where it will ask you for your date of birth. So just make sure to type in your date of birth and then choose your gender, if it's male or female, uh, and then you're gonna press on next and then I'll show you what to do. So just choose your gender, press on next and then make sure to choose this option where it says create your own email address. Now this is very important because you wanna write something that you will remember or write something that's personal for you. For example, I'm using Ian Sirwan photos. This will be something that I will remember. So as you can see, after that just press on next and then type or create a password. Now just make sure to remember all these data, I'm gonna, I'm sorry if I said this like multiple times but it's very important for you to remember this account because you don't want to lose it uh, because it's gonna take all your storage, all your, all your media, your photos, your videos will all be stored in this app, in this account. So press on not now and then uh, scroll down until you see an option that says yes I'm in and after that just tap on it and then if you guys are enjoying the video, it will be great if you guys also tap on subscribe. So, with that being said, just press on I agree to the terms and uh, user terms of the application. And you, you guys can also look through it in case you're interested in knowing what the app tells you. So as you can see, the account is not created. Just make sure to tap on 
the account that you just created just for double checking and then press on backup now so that's the option that you saw in the earlier part of the video tap on unlimited storage because that's what you want to do now if you tap on high quality unlimited storage now the app gives you unlimited storage by storing all your media files your photos your videos no matter how much you have they will all be stored here so as you can see it's now backing up around 3900 photos and videos from my gallery to this application which has taken a lot of storage to be honest so after it's all backed up you're gonna tap on an option that's called free up space and it will delete all the media files from your gallery but still store them in the application so if you want to use cellular data to back up these files, just make sure to toggle those two options on. If not, just use Wi-Fi and it will work properly as well. So as you can see, it's now backing up all the media files from the gallery. And after that, all you need to do is just press on free up space and then choose delete. Now it just uploaded around two or three files. That's why it says three. Although if you wait on the application to upload, it will probably upload all of the data. After it's uploaded and you choose free up space, you need to go back to your gallery and then scroll down until you see recently deleted and then select all and then delete all because if you don't do this, they will still exist in your gallery. That's the whole purpose of the video and it's making sure that you delete the application and the media from the gallery. So as you can see, that's how the app works. It will probably and most likely upload all of your photos and videos to the application and then you're gonna tap on freeze up space and then it will be deleted from your phone and therefore you will have unlimited storage so thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions by commenting below